nobody can turn the ball over and four times in the second half and, and win very many games. So, we, uh, we certainly did that, and I was disappointed. But I thought our kids played hard. They hung in there, they played to the end, and uh, they played, you know, pretty good football team. They won a lot of games this year. And, uh, we had uh, 300 yards of offense, high up on the more than second half than we did the first half. But, uh, can't make the mistakes we made with turnovers. Were you surprised at how hard the, team, the guys came out today? I mean, obviously, they came out guns blazing and 10 nothing, just kind of put them no, on the heels. Our kids prepared well. Uh, they had, a, I think our coaches gave them a good plan, and they played, played hard, and they tried to execute it, and they believed in it, believed in each other, and, you know, I, I, I would have been extremely disappointed if they had it, and then I was, I was not surprised. I guess before we get to those turnovers, uh, Sean looked like he showed no rust after not starting since 2009. He looked really good running the zone reads. He looked really good with the option. I mean, him running the ball looked great. Passing still a work in progress. But what can you say about Sean's performance? Well, I think you said it, Tyler. I think he uh, he executed the, the zone read and the option things well. He uh, I didn't think he threw the ball too bad. I mean, he missed a couple throws I think he should have made, and unfortunately he had a couple. Uh, that he got batted down when he had wide open receivers. Uh, but he was going to the right place with the ball, and we just didn't get alignment to hands down, and, and they got a piece of it. But uh, he had, I think he had one turnover, and then that's, that's disappointing. And then the time close to him get a turnover. So. Uh, but all in all, I think uh, he gave us a chance. He did what we needed to do to have a chance to play in this game. With tape kind of learning your defense, Coach, was this designed to, to run at him as much as you did, or was that just kind of what the, the, the game did for you? Well, you know, I, I guess uh, we know a lot about that defense. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I hired Gary Patterson in New Mexico with the 4 2 5, and, and Chad and my defensive coordinator, Craig and I, were both running. And, so I, you know, we spent a lot of time working against it all camp and those kinds of things. So I, I don't, I don't think there. Well, we what we did was what we felt was we could do the best against a team like Texas Tech with some knowledge that uh, Chad, being a first-year defensive coordinator, we we know what it's like to install a new offensive defense. He's going to do a fine job, and they're going to get better and better as they, as they get more playing time with it. And we were probably a little fortunate to catch a first game when they're. Kind of getting a feel for it. What did it feel like out there when that uh, that wind and dust started blowing up in the second quarter? What was that? Well, the wind was something, but the dust was the worst part of it because uh, I had to take my glasses off several times to just clean my eyes out so I could see. I mean, you talk more about Sean and a little bit about what you think he did well and the areas where he can improve still. Well, I thought he I thought he executed pretty well. I thought he, uh, he got the ball in the right people's hands. I thought his reads were pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I, he missed a throw or two that I, I think he'll make, and I believe he knows he'll make him. Uh, you know, we can't, he had a turnover, and in our offense, quarterback is going to, like a lot of offenses, is going to have a lot put on him, and if they, if they turn it over, then it's going to be difficult to, to win the football game. But for his first start, I I was pleased with it. Uh, you know, we had a communication breakdown there once or twice there when there was a fumble and that hurt. And, uh, you know, those things we've got to clean up you know, before we go forward, but that wasn't really Sean's fault that much. He's had a lot of success in the junior college level, obviously, you know, it's the biggest, more difficult competition. How do you think that success he's had translates to what he's doing now? Sean's a winner. He's a, he's a winner through and through. Um, he's a competitor. He's a team guy. Uh, there wasn't anybody happier when Tyler was doing well than him. Uh, you know, I, you you go into coaching to coach guys like Sean Rutherford. After you know such a difficult, I guess, preseason camp, fall camp, the defense with the my ball, my ball thing, just ripping it, ripping it, ripping it. The the, deep, the offense obviously knew what it's going to be like facing a defense like that. Do you think it was more? Tech really ripping them out, or just the ball kind of just getting out of their hands, and you know all those four turnovers that Tech eventually scored on each and every one of them. Well, I think a couple of them were self-inflicted, and maybe a couple of you give some Tech some credit for too. Um, but either.
either way, we have to take responsibility for them and we have to correct that. And when you get the crowd, you put two hands on it. And, uh, you know, you, you, you just have to, if you play offense, you play with the football. If you don't take care of it, you need to go play defense before they don't have to play with the football. That's just all there is to that. If, if you can't win the turnover takeaway battle, you can't beat a good team like Texas Tech. And you can't beat a lot of teams. So uh, that, that just you know, has to be corrected for us to, to have a chance for it. Do you think you guys focus a little bit too much maybe in the fall in the fall camp on the takeaway portion of it? And not, Or is it kind of hand in hand? How it goes I don't there? think we focus too much on it. Um, I've done this for nearly 40 years. I've had teams turn the ball over seven times in a whole year. The same kind of emphasis. It's just what we have to learn now. If there's any any part of this and that would be my fault and I'd take blame for this is I didn't scrimmage our guys a whole bunch because you know we had some guys dinged up and just you scrimmage in the spring and you try to get them healthy in the first game. So, you know, but the defense still tried to strip them up a, a whole bunch and everything. So without as much scrimmage in the pool, maybe that falls on my shoulders, but I'm willing to take that one because I kept our best players healthy.